welcome to our next APU basic video. This is a double feature video. On one side we want to explain special APU behavior and on the other side we want to talk about our 4650G who surprised us with another special behavior. Let's start with the basic part. As you can see in the picture we want to explain in a simplified form the behavior of VRAM on a dedicated card. In this example it does not matter how big the VRAM is just that it has a decent speed. We have a special no-name card which has GDDR5 VRAM running at 2000 MHz effective speed. Since GDDR5 is QDR, it has a real speed of 8000 MHz. Under the VRAM you can see our system RAM running DDR4 with 1600 MHz, which leads to a real speed of 3200 MHz. Now the GPU starts to fetch data from the VRAM. As long as the VRAM is not full, it gets all the stuff it needs with a very fast speed. But if our card runs out of VRAM, because we set the textures too high for example, the GPU needs to take the fallback route over the system RAM to get the desired information. The system RAM is way slower and your GPU always waits between frames for it to deliver data. And this leads to struggling frame times and hiccups in your frame output. Now we want to see how this works with our APU. Since an APU uses the system RAM as VRAM, both have the same speed. Even when our VRAM is full, it does not impact the performance, since the delay from VRAM to system RAM is equal, since it is the same RAM. This leads to a worse overall performance, but you won't have stutter or bad frame times when the virtual VRAM is full. We now gonna show a small video where our 3400G uses 512 MB and 2 GB VRAM as a comparison. As you saw, there is no difference in frames and frame times when using less VRAM than minimal needed. This behavior can be seen in all games with an APU. There are more comparisons on YouTube, but I try to keep it simple and small. Now we come to the second part of our video. As I said before, the VRAM behavior can be seen in all APUs since the AMD Fusion release in 2011. Until now. As a subscriber of our channel, you may have noticed our test of the 4650G and the occurring frame time spikes while testing. We first thought this is a pure driver problem, like some other hardware testers beside us also hinted, but this is a problem of full VRAM. We did some tests, tried to fix stuff and can now show you the same benchmark with 512MB and 2GB, but this time on our Renoir 4650G instead of the 3400G.
now you saw the frame time improvements we achieved with a higher VRAM. We are still not sure what leads to this behavior since it is abnormal and there are currently no known reasons for it. The next part is pure speculation since we don't have the full knowledge about the Renoir chips and for example the Beta Infinity fabric and the current APUs. Maybe it is a driver problem, but this shouldn't be so easily fixed by increasing VRAM. Just from the technical viewpoint, there seems to be some kind of segmentation happen, which leads to a better VRAM performance over the system RAM. This can be achieved with a higher compression, which only works in the VRAM, but not on the system RAM. More than pure speculation, some while ago while talking about the PlayStation 5, Lisa Su told the press there were some kind of bottlenecks they fixed with the Vega U-Arch and this leads to a way better performance and will be included in the new APUs, consoles and RDNA. The chances we can explain this behavior is rising as we come closer to the release of the consoles Big Navi and Renoir desktop chips. I hope you enjoyed my new basic video and thanks for your support.